guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can stream with OBS and streaming was one of the most uh, complicated things ever. Um, I thought it was really confusing but once you like learn how to do it, it's really simple to set up. I just realized that I made OBS tutorials on uh, best recording settings as well as how to record but I never really made one for streaming and OBS is um, most used for streaming. So that's why today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to stream with it. The process is pretty simple. If you guys want the best streaming settings, um, get this video to 450 likes and I'll make that. With that being said, let's just get into it. Okay, so right now I'm on Twitch TV. Um, I chose Twitch to make the tutorial on because uh, most of you are looking, probably looking at streaming on Twitch. So I'm going to just teach you because it is the most popular option. I know there's stuff like uh, YouTube gaming, Hitbox, but... Um, usually it's the same process. You get a streaming code, you go to OBS settings and you just paste it and then you start streaming. Um, it's pretty simple. So right now I'm on Twitch TV. Um, the first thing I want to do is actually go on OBS here. I have OBS Studio, so it might be a little bit different from the original version, but it's practically the same, just um, different layout and all. So as you can see, I have two scenes, one's for record, one's for stream. I'm currently recording. So that's the one that's recording, like recording the screen right now. And basically there's one that's actually showing one source and it's called display capture so basically the scenes not really anything it's just a group of sources so image is basically like any image it can be an image of a uh, i guess a, i don't know a banana um it could be a face cam overlay uh donation button anything you want and you can place it anywhere you want a video capture device is basically your webcam you get to choose so as you can see um i should be right here uh, i don't know why it's not showing but um, I should appear right here and then game capture is basically um, you got to choose uh, application that game that you're playing and it'll record that only and display captures you know, displaying every single thing so if you were in a game capture right here and you selected League of Legends if you exit out of League of Legends or like switch tabs to like um, Chrome it wouldn't show it only show League of Legends because you selected that as your game but if you did uh, display capture it would capture both Chrome and League of Legends. So if I go to stream right here, it's going to change my monitor. Okay. So as you can see, um, let me just move it here. Uh, my monitor is on the right side of me now. This is my second monitor that I am looking at right now. So as you can see, the display capture is on right here. And what I basically want to do is add any overlays that I want. So an image. So here you can add your uh, webcam overlay, your video overlay, anything you want. Um, you can also add a webcam here. So if I go into um, right here, video capture device. I'm, I'm looking this way because my monitor is on this side rather than this side right now. So let me just add that. And so basically you can resize it to whatever, you know, whatever you like. And basically right now you can add an image over this like a webcam overlay and it look really nice. Next, you want to select your microphone. I already have selected. So if you go properties, you see my device is the to Rode into USB microphone. You can also put up the video capture device audio. So if your webcam has like audio and stuff like that, you can also put that up. Um, there's really no point if you do have a mic, but if you don't have a mic, uh, you can use the webcam's audio. There's also something called a desktop audio. So basically if you're in game, um, you'll be able to hear like uh, the in-game sounds if you want that. Um, I would turn it off personally because it does get distracting. So for this portion, um, it's basically done. I forgot to mention, you just want to press uh, right click and press add. And right now it's a black screen, but if I press on stream, it's different. If I press on record, it's different. And now I move this. I have two monitors, so that might have been a little bit confusing. But really all you have to do is make a new scene, press on it, and then add sources. The next thing you want to do is go into settings. And mine might look different than yours because I'm using the studio version. But it should say something like broadcast settings, stream, live stream, something like that. And you just want to select that and it'll ask for your service. So your service is what you're planning on streaming on. So mine's Twitch. Um, there is stuff like Facebook Live, which I didn't even know. Um, Hitbox, Beam Pro, Daily Motion, Live Coding, and Rest Stream or Rest Rest Stream, whatever. I selected Twitch and for your server, your encoding server, you want to select anything that's close to you. Um, the closest to me is New York City, New York. Um, I live in Toronto, so that's around four or five hours away from me. If I chose Los Angeles, that's like like 30 hours away from me. So um, I wouldn't choose that. And definitely not Asia because I live in Canada. And none of these have Canada. So I will choose um, New York. The next thing you want to do is find something called your stream key. 
Um, it's really easy to find. You can like search it up if you don't know where it is on like Hit, Hitbox or uh, YouTube Gaming. But here, it's pretty simple to find on uh, Twitch. All you have to do is press right here and go on to dashboard. So you can go on twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard if you really don't wanna do that. And you wanna press on stream key. It is important to note that if you give the stream key to anyone, they will be able to stream from anywhere, anytime they want. Um, so don't give it away. If you press show key here, they'll actually give you a disclaimer. Never share your stream key with anyone or show it on stream. Twitch staff admins or global moderators will never ask uh, you for this information. Please click I understand if you understand the book. Okay, I'm not gonna show it. Um, I'm just gonna tell you uh, when you get the key, all you wanna do is go onto here and paste the key and that's about it. So I'm gonna actually go on to uh, my Twitch account right here. And I'm gonna show you guys that this is actually working, that I am actually streaming to Twitch right now. Cause if you go onto my profile right here, and what is this heart? I have 414 followers. I honestly did not know I had that many followers, but whatever. And right here, if I turn up the volume here, go onto my profile right here. And what is this heart? I have 414 followers. See, as you can see, I do have 414 followers and this does work. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.